kind of bright today. Hello guys, happy Sunday. It's Sunday for you. It's Sunday for me right now. It's just a week ahead of time. This video is going to be another January gardening vlog because why not? It's been nice and beautiful here in North Carolina. We're not used to winters where we can be outside and doing things. So we're really enjoying winter in North Carolina and I hope that you guys enjoy watching our video. I'm cleaning out the trailer. I'm working towards that. Toward uh, are you like cleaning out around it? I'm gonna saws all the trees that are like blocking the doors. Nice. It's kind of bright today. Bees. So Taylor is currently clearing out, we have a trailer, like a car trailer type of thing, or like a livestock trailer that these people who owned it before us were using as a shed. So it's like parked down below the house and it's full of junk. And we have this carport, I'll show you. We have this carport that we're using as like our garage right now. I think I mentioned this in a recent video, but yeah. So the plan is to clear out that shed, load up the truck so we can take it to the dump next weekend or sometime this week, maybe Get all this stuff in here into there. So it's like a mini like storage garage. So, you know, the chipper, the mower and stuff will go down there. The reason for that is this is my car. We just got it from Michigan. You saw that in the last video. Uh, it doesn't work right now. It's broken. <laughs> and Taylor needs to fix it, but the engine bay is exposed and he doesn't, it rains a lot right now here. So he doesn't want it exposed to the elements. So we're gonna try and get it in there. Hopefully soon we're gonna get some like corrugated plastic um, panels and put them up so it all stays dry and we gotta redo this so it's not as ugly. <laughs> it also will function better because these aren't really these uh, two by fours aren't really doing anything right now. So yeah, that's the plan. So he's working on that right now. I think he's trimming up the trees on the edges of it so that we can actually get into the shed. And then after we work on that, the plan is to lay down some, it's not silage tarp, but it's like a roll of some sort of tarp material. We're gonna do that for some of the big garden beds and I need to start double digging.
a few little unbroken pots in that bucket. I thought maybe you might want those little glass containers for something. I mean, sure they could be cleaned up. Yeah. And I found that mirror. I was just gonna keep the frame from, but yeah, I mean, that'd be cool for the music room. For anything, we could not I, disassemble it. I have enough mirrors. We could just use the frame if you want. Chicken coop door? Keep those around for now. Yeah, honestly, it could be. We probably want to put hardware cloth over where the screen is. So, or just get rid of the screen, replace it with hardware cloth. I mean, yeah, we could totally use that. It's a big door. So, oh, we can paint it to match and. Yeah, I think it'll be. Works for me. Well, we can, uh,. I figured the run, like the, the chicken run, you know, will just be like whatever wood stain we choose. Yeah. We can paint that some fun color. Yeah. Maybe right. we can paint it like the, like a different one of our greens or something. Pink from my... We could. That'd be kind of cool. bushes and stuff back in there and they're kind of really difficult to mulch so we decided to burn some of them because they scrape up your arms really good while you're trying to shove them in the mulcher so that's what I'm doing I need to keep an eye on that and it's in the garden. So what I'm gonna do is take down these compost bins that I put up a little while ago because they need to move into our new compost material area. And because we need to take this, that tree down and that's gonna be basically where the front door of our chicken coop is. So that tree is gonna go, but in order to take it down, I need to move our compost bins for Taylor. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm out of breath because I've been hauling the thorns back and forth. My arms are all cut up pretty good, but I'm gonna do that. And then once those are moved, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my double digging. Let it air out a little. As long as I can. And every day it's nice, probably just open it up. There is a pretty good rip in the ceiling right here. Ugh. And that they put that board there and the board's rotting out, obviously. <laughs> There's yeah. a few holes. I'll probably I'll get on the roof and That's a good fix. <laughs> determine how I want to fix the holes. Cause like there's some holes where the rivets come through and everything. 
which I can use that uh, roof tar. Oh yeah. Um, but the, for the bigger holes, it won't probably do the job on its own. I might have to. Could you use some of the extra like metal uh, huh. sheeting stuff we have? That, or honestly, even like where the hole, where the holes are. I'll see what we got, but where the holes are, like in here, the rivet holes. If I stuff like tin foil up there and then roof tar it, <laughs> the tar will have something to sit on. That makes sense. It's like just for the little holes. I don't know. I'll have to figure out something better for that big hole. It's a pretty decent little shed, I guess. Like, it's big. I mean, for like being here. No, I mean we can fit everything. I mean, yeah, it's sketchy, but it like it's a good storage area, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's a free shed, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not moving, so. Right. <laughs> it's gonna be a long time before we have any thought of moving this thing. So. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're wrapping up for the night. We made a major dent in this. Like, it's kind of hard to see because it's getting dark, but we cleared like all of this. We still have to do a little bit of mulching, but we have a huge pile of mulch up there that Taylor's been working on. And I've been down here with my little tree loppers and I just have been cutting stuff. My arms are absolutely torn up but it's worth it <laughs> i'm pretty happy about this i'm gonna flip you around so you can see it better so yeah that was all rose bushes like hanging from the trees and all back there there were some small trees that i cut out but see there's mulch pile it's pretty big it doesn't really look like it on camera but that's a lot of mulch Such a pretty view. We're gonna have a nice view down to the orchard eventually, down there, that's gonna be the orchard. Yeah. So, that's our cedar wood chip pile. You can see all the way over to where the chickens are gonna be. This is insane. So yeah, that like, whole zone right there is going to be our coop. 
We still have some old cedars that they've obviously been on the ground from when they topped these guys under the power line, so those are going to have to get cleared out on their own before we can do much more. We might have to... Taylor and I were just talking and he said we might have to rent a brush hog or something because there's no way we can just like light this on fire. <laughs> so, um, and putting it in the mulcher is not easy at all. Like I showed you, my arms are just like torn up from, they're just like torn up from trying to do that earlier. So we'll see if we can figure that out, but it's down and I can see it and I can picture it and I'm pretty excited. It's time to go clean up and make dinner and probably take a bath because I'm very, very sore. <laughs> I promised you that I would kind of chat with you this week about some of the changes and decisions we've made for the garden and kind of what we're doing with it now because we've kind of had to pivot a little. So in the last video I showed you guys that I got a new tiller and we weren't originally planning on tilling the garden but since where our garden is is just like solid solid clay like after an inch or two down it's just solid clay and the size of the garden we're not going to be able to get bed set up unless we use the tiller so we're kind of doing that in conjunction with i've recently kind of discovered double digging i've started doing it it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time sorry if you can hear the sawzall tailors down by the trailer shed and doing that but um yeah, it takes a long time to do and it's a lot of work, but the the results of like actually being able to use the soil the first year are significant and that's basically what we need. We need like a quick fix, but like something that's actually going to feed the soil and so that the soil is usable this year, but in following years we can still go about doing our no-till methods. It's going to be like an experiment because some of our beds have just the cardboard they're aerated they have cardboard and then compost on top but some of them are gonna do we're gonna do this note some of them we're gonna do this double digging method so whoop, I'm gonna fall over so I laid it out on paper and kind of I have an idea of where things are going now so like once I walk now when I walk out here I'm excited because oh cookies here cookie hello come here are you so excited oh my goodness are you so excited? <laughs> okay, so Cookie's here and she's wandering around. Her real name's Dream, but we call her Cookie. She's she has a lot of energy today. But what I was saying is now that when I walk in the garden, since I've laid out where things are actually going to go, I can look around and be like, oh my gosh, our tomatoes are gonna be here and like Okay, so like I need to put trellises here. So like I'm really starting to figure things out to the point where like I know what materials we need to get. I know which beds need to get done for sure. And it's just really exciting. So all but one, actually all but one normal bed staked out. Then we have separate areas. They're not like linear beds like the rest of them, but they're more like for like our melons. Hello, Cookie. For like our melons and our pumpkins and all that kind of stuff. Hi we have like bigger patches that we're going to be doing so those are actually going to get covered up and not double dug for now because they're just like huge areas and also corn and then i have one hugel culture bed that i'm going to do for now because we have a pile of logs up here which i'll try and spin you guys around you can see that little pile of logs up there by cookie <laughs> there's a pile of logs on the ground and they're like deteriorating Ooh. they're composting there in place so we're just gonna shift those a little bit into like a better formation and make those into a hugel culture, hugel culture bed. So I have pretty much all my beds planned out. Hey baby. 
I just ordered asparagus crowns, so we're like well on the way. Our first seeds are started, as you would have seen in a previous, I think you saw like two or three videos ago. I started my first seeds, mostly brassicas. And then I think the last garden update before I get up and like show you the actual stuff is I got some steaks and we have a little low tunnel that we're gonna be able to use. Cookie has no regard for the, the boundaries of the garden beds. <laughs> so that's just half of it. I was testing it out to see if it was actually gonna be sturdy enough because we have had some major winds lately. So it's doing well. I wanna get the rest of it put up and get some radishes out here, maybe some carrots. We'll see. But I'm gonna get up and like show you guys around. I've started double digging this bed. These beds surrounding it are the ones that I've done cardboard and then compost on top. So I have five of those right now. This is double dug. This one's actually significantly longer. It's gonna be like 24 full feet long. Same with this one. Hi, Cookie. Come here, baby. Hey, sweet girl. Hi. So I've probably gotten like six feet of this bed done. So there's a lot to go, she's helping. I have all the flags laid out. And so most of them I started with green and then up there I ran out of the green, so I had to use blue. And then for the bigger beds, I used orange or for the, the patches for the squash and the corn and whatnot, I used the orange. So yeah, they're all laid out. I just need to get to work on actually making them. And I need to get, <laughs> she's so cute. I need to get the onions planted in these beds. I'm gonna walk over here and show you guys what I'm planning to do for this hugo culture bed. So at the top of the garden, closest to the road, the road's like right there, this is a tree that they felled and it's just been sitting here for probably years. <laughs> so the plan is just to turn that into a hugo culture bed. Obviously there's a lot of brush. It's kind of hard to see because everything's brown right now, but there's a lot of brush down here all raspberry or blackberry brambles but this is going to make a nice hugel culture bed and i just want to test it out and see if it works we're going to clear up the edges a little bit so that it gets sun see that tarp we found that in the trailer shed that we cleaned out yesterday which i think is in this video we found that and it's just like this giant roll of tarp i don't know exactly what it is it's like not an actual tarp material but it's a huge roll of it and we're gonna use it to cover these beds and try and kill off the grass before spring so that we can actually plant our melons and whatnot in it. That's basically the garden update for this video. I'm glad Cookie came to make an appearance. Hi. The only reason I'm out here right now is to show you guys this, mark out these beds, and then I guess play with Cookie because she's here. <laughs> and yeah, the rest of today I'm just gonna be spending inside I need to get cleaned. I need to get the house cleaned up. I need to meal prep lunches for Taylor. And I need to make udon noodles because we were supposed to have those the last two days. And we've just been so busy working outside. We haven't remembered to do the noodles in time. So I'm gonna go do that now. guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.